Welcome ladies and gents, this is a short video just as an add-on to the video I released yesterday about anti-immigration protests in Ireland and also the pro-Palestine protests in American universities at the moment. Before we get going, I'd really appreciate if you like the video, subscribe and make sure you share as well. Thanks. So first thing up then is that there's a big protest tomorrow happening in Dublin and um, because it's a bank holiday uh, weekend. So uh, uh, 2.30 at uh, the Garden of Remembrance, uh, Parnell Square, Dublin, that's what it's planned. So, you know, that's the, those are the details. Those are the details as far as I know. Make sure you double check on social media, but make sure you make it to that protest. So speaking of protests, uh, just as I was kind of working on that video, just as I was working on the last video about protests and so on about Palestine, I was waiting for it to kick off here. Lo and behold, um, protests kicking off in Trinity Col College in Dublin, in the centre of Dublin. Um, uh, more of the same stuff we see in the American universities, right? So I'm just going to play some clips for you here, first of all. So that is despicable that you can see that. I mean, look at that. Talk about high profile, right? You know, so for anyone who doesn't know Dublin or Trinity College, it's right there at the end of uh, Dame Street, Star at Westmoreland Street and so on. It's very, very public, right out in public view. This is the Marxist cult members marking their territory where well, we know they like to protest and so on. But let's put it in context as well as a protest tomorrow in Dublin, the big, you know, nationalist or anti-globalist protest happening which is going to be mostly about mass immigration so here we have the cult members again marking their territory for all to see so here we go all right so a bunch of brats so this is the view from the windows so they're all filming each other and joining themselves the whole streets are taken up with all the flags and so on so right there for the whole world to see wow. Okay, I'll protect them. Hold on. For anyone who doesn't know as well, Trinity College is one of the more prestigious colleges in the university. I'm sure the fees to get in there aren't ex are expensive enough and it's got a reputation for being a Marxist uh, shithole. There's a, a branch of the Workers' Party in there and, uh, and so on. But I mean, just, you know, there's supposed to be institutes of learning. So this is just typical of what universities have become socialist indoctrination academies. You know, they're supposed to be learning how to become more intelligent, not more retarded. So that was a view of the, camp, uh, of the encampment from inside. And here's another shot um, as well that was on Twitter. So I presume they're trying to make like a a heart shape there with all the tents uh so this is uh you know they're they're setting up their little encampment there's so this is typical of marx's protests as well and um, they try to like to give the impression that they're separate and self-sufficient you know because they hate capitalism and and all this stuff you know that's uh, just irony so this guy here is connor reddy and i actually heard this guy talking on space on x last night and i think he said he's not in the university or maybe that was someone else who's getting confused and we may or may not be a student we we'll just listen to what he has to say here and if you've watched any of my previous videos think about you know um the kind of key um subjects that cult members like to talk about they like to criticize capitalism because they want to promote socialism they like to talk about western imperialism and you know the evil of the western powers and nato and america and stuff like that and obviously they like to talk about oppression as well so we'll see how many of the the key points here he he brings up and genocide and stuff like that as well so we're in uh, Tr Free Trinity today. Uh, you can see behind me a massive student and staff encampment of people uh, calling on the provost and the management of the university to end all ties with apartheid Israel. That means research ties with companies like Elbit Systems, uh, agreements with Israeli universities built on stolen land, and it means divestment from uh, the companies that Trinity has money uh, pumped into that uh, so sustains the uh, uh, genocidal apartheid. So you go. So you just mentioned a few, three key points in the in the row there. So he's referring to capitalism as well, right? So capitalism can be evil. Evil corporations working together, blah blah. There you go. Genocidal as well. There's another key word. Apartheid as well. There's another key word as well. So um, 
you know, I often use the example of South Africa. South Africa is another example where you had, um, they talk about being an apartheid state. The communists were trying to uh, make things more equal, quote unquote, and to end apartheid. And look what happened to South Africa when they took apartheid out of the equation. The place turned into a hellhole because it became majority rule. And the majority happened to be many of them brainwashed with Marxism and it r actually ruined the place. So these are all typical Marxist talking points here. Israeli regime. Um, today was a day of escalation. We've seen hundreds of people gather outside the gates in solidarity with the occupation solidarity, inside. Yeah. Uh, we've seen uh, the camp grow, many more people join it. We've wow. now got staff members and students wow. together. Uh, we have teach done, outs yeah. spreading uh, history and positive messages of solidarity. solidarity uh, yeah. This can only grow from here. Wow. Uh, so the message is very clear, I think, to Linda Doyle, the Provost, and the Board. Uh, now is the time divest now, uh, end all ties now um, and uh, come off the fence, come off the Brats. fence, now is the time, uh, not a moment later. We're also calling on you, uh, the public, to join us. Uh, follow the Trinity BDS uh, pages on Instagram and Twitter. You'll keep yeah. up to date with all of our laugh, uh, yeah. calls for solidarity. You'll see events that we plan on hosting both inside and outside the university. And you'll be uh, kept up to date with the latest news here uh, in Free Trinity. So thanks everyone for watching and make sure to follow those pages. So Mark has always said Marxism is a mental illness, right? When you become indoctrinated with this stuff, it changes how the brain works and people become addicted to it. It's like their nectar and they, they have to, uh, they're, they're just hooked. You can see him, look, he's, look on his face, he looks happy with himself. He's no idea that he's brainwashed and he's surrounded by other people who have kind of reaffirmed his belief. He became contaminated himself off someone else, maybe he was in the university, one of his socialist friends, socialist parent, whatever it is, and then they end up like that. So typical stuff there just right across the board. So here's some of the different articles that were up. This one went up on Friday, I believe. So today is, this is Sunday evening, so Sunday 5th. Yeah, so Trinity College Dublin defense decision to fine. Actually, I'll make that full screen. So the, the what happened was the college decided to fine the students union for being involved. So almost a quarter of a million euro, look at that, for blocking access to the Book of Kells. We'll come back to this in a minute. But basically the protest was, uh, they were actually, <laughs> Bizarrely, um, it seems, it seems bizarre, but we'll come back to that in a minute, where create a blockade of benches um, to block the Book of Kells exhibition in the college. So the Book of Kells is like a historical artifact. It's extremely famous. So it's part of Irish history and the cult members there are blocking it up because it actually makes money as well, I believe. So they're trying to hit the university where it hurts, right? So they're, they're anti-capitalist uh, Marxist cult members and uh, they think that this is a good idea. So critics describe universities move as attempt to suppress student protests. Now, a lot of the cult members members in Ireland, uh, politicians and members of the media and so on have been piping up here now to defend the students, of course, you know, including uh, Claire Daly is one of the prominent um, fanatics in Ireland, Marxist, uh, she's one who caught my eye, but there's been plenty of them um, talking about this. So Trinity College has defended the decision to find a college student, blah, blah, blah. So blocking access to the Book of Kells, Gaza protest, yeah. So uh, the move has sparked criticism from students, academics and some politicians. It was not for profit organization. It could not survive solely in government funding. So there you go. So look at that, right? So so the, they're trying to, this is typically how the cult operates. They're trying to blackmail people into giving them their own way, right? That's all typical behavior. It's a kind of economic terrorism, right? Now, obviously, in a sane country, just to, to put this out there, in a sane country, the, all of those would be, either, uh, the ringleaders would be arrested, right? All the students would be given a warning or offered expulsion, right, if they decide to put their foot down. This is despicable that they're allowed to do this, you know. And as actually a few people on X pointed out today, we in Ireland, our position on, on Ireland should be should be nothing to do with Israel and Palestine. All these protesters are achieving is doing damage to Ireland and Irish institutions. They're not really helping anybody. This is what Marxism does, right? So we'll come back to the, the analysis of that in a moment. Here's another article here from bbc.com. So I wanted to stop a unit, uh, sorry, it's essentially declared war on a student body. Oh, okay, so they, they've declared war on a student body. And I find the students, the same thing, yeah, Trinity College have demonstrated. So there you go, there's the character, one of the main characters involved. He's the head of the students' union, Laszlo Molnarfi. We'll come back to him in a minute. So he's the students' union president, so you can imagine what he's like. 
um, represents an ill-fated attempt to intimidate, harass, and threaten the student movement. Okay, so the students started this, all the brainwashed nuts started this, no one forced them to do it, they could be doing more constructive things with their time, and now they're crying victim, and they're being oppressed. So there we go, another typical, typical Marxist tactic. Move to the next article as well. Trinity College, Dublin, close until further notice. So this was uh, yesterday, so look at that. Right. Trinity College Dublin closed until further notice as protests against Israel ties continue. So several dozen students come blocking indefinitely. Okay, so they will remain indefinitely. Okay, yeah. So it's up to them. So this is a, this is a ballless state allows stuff like this to happen. I mean, you think about it. These ballless little brats getting their own way and being allowed to do this. It's absolutely disgraceful. TCD has restricted public access to the campus, so that, so they're really causing a big disruption here. So this guy is the outgoing TCD Students Union president, right? So he's really going for it here now. He's you know creating, him, trying to make himself into a legend in the eyes of his fellow cult members in the college, right? But they don't realize they're all mentally ill. So the encampments, so they close, so visitors to the Book of Kells are denied entry at this point. And you know, it's May, you're going to start getting a trickle of tourists now at this stage. The weather's starting to get a little bit more decent. 50 tents, 70 students. In the, there you go. So the encampment, which follows similar demonstrations on university campuses in the United States. So a clear attempt at, so they're oppressed, they're having their voices, they're having their great revolutionary voices suppressed, you know. So that's another thing. Brats don't like getting their comeuppance. Here's further down. The protesters have also, they're quoted as saying, have called on Trinity to make an unequivocal statement of solidarity condemning the ongoing genocide destruction. So they, there you go, that's a giveaway as well. This is, as I mentioned before, this is nothing at all to do with the well-being of Palestinians. This is about Marxism becoming the dominant ideologies. They're trying to force people to agree with them, right? This isn't just about economic ties or financial ties. They're trying to force other people to agree with them, including the university itself. So there's another picture there uh, from the the, uh, the Twitter account of the man himself of the camping. So this guy, Laszlo Malfinari. So this guy, look, he's got pro pronouns in his bio, so you can tell he's all about. I believe this guy is Hungarian. Now, Hungary, um, well, like most countries in the world has a very strong communist past they were kind of one of the satellite countries of the soviet union so maybe this guy um was you know his parents are brainwashed somebody's brainwashed maybe he was brainwashed before he came here yeah so he's the one of the main culprits involved so this guy should be uh this guy should be if he's going to stay in ireland should be monitored for the rest of his life like all cult members they should be monitored for the whole lives and not be allowed to engage in any sort of activism or be allowed to um set up ngos work anywhere near children or in, in positions of influence and and obviously god forbid politics as well so here's another article this was out today as well yeah so this is the journal and um, so we'll just zoom in on that face there look at that Look at the mush on that face there. You can tell there he's probably a vegan. And um, well, he's got his bio. He says he, him. So I think he identifies as a male. Who knows? You wouldn't tell by looking at him, would you? So as you can see, this is an, an international thing, right? This is about all the Marxist groups around the world trying to force this um, an offensive against Israel, as I've mentioned in previous videos. That's really what the end game is here. Now, people like this guy, they have no idea that that's what they're being used, like the whole useful idiot thing. They're being used to promote all this. So we'll come back to our analysis in a minute. So, okay, so our numbers have grown, our forces have grown up. It's a completely peaceful process. We're still blocking the Book of Kells and Daphne. So it's not really peaceful if you're, um, if you're engaged in kind of economic terrorism. So here's a tweet from Mr. KF on X, right? So um, nice little picture here. So you got the book of Kells on the left-hand side for those who haven't seen it. I can't remember the details, so I won't waffle about this, but it's definitely a historical artifact in Ireland. And uh, it's, uh, you know, famous, been around a few hundred years or whatever, a work of art. And you're just comparing it to uh, <laughs> to Marxism on the other side. So, you know, just as a, there's a point to that, actually, that, Marxism, as I always say, is an international cult movement that wants to be the dominant ideology in the world. It attacks Western civil civilization on several levels. And just think of the three C's, right? So capitalism, Christianity, and culture. Those are the three pillars regarded as the pillars of Western civilization. That's why you hear all this stuff where they, they try to destroy religion. They succeeded in removing the church from the state. Um, you know, the whole paedophilia thing with the church. 
and they keep uh, banging that drum to try and destroy religion in Western countries and so on. They've done a pretty good job of that. Um, capitalism, they're always going on about criticizing capitalism. They want to replace capitalism with their experimental system of socialism, which has only ever brought economic hardship around the world and causes a tremendous amount of death and suffering. So capitalism, uh, Christianity, and also culture is the other one. So you've, you've seen how they've tried to erode culture. They replace the culture of the countries that the lefties are in control. They rep replace the indigenous culture with Marxist degeneracy and trash, right? So that's an example here of, you know, the sex books that were, they're pushing out towards kids, promoting all sorts of crap. So they um, replace the indigenous culture of the country that they're attacking with, with just degeneracy or just erode the culture for its own sake. Because if you want to um, transform a country, you need to you need to take the population away from its roots and destroy the culture as much as possible. Unless you can twirl it, twist it to your own advantage. So you'll see a lot of Marxists, they might try and speak Irish or they'll have NGO groups that are have Irish names to give the impression that they're Irish. But it's just a, it's just a it's a, a visage it's just a facade a fake you know it's um it's designed to just sucker you in and make you think that they're patriots or something ridiculous like that so you're hearing the chance that they make right um so from from the river to the sea palestine will be free there's a clear agenda there uh, in the background to their they would like to destroy israel and as i've talked about before and many times in videos this is just israel and palestine's part of a proxy war it goes back to the cold war they want to destroy israel because it's a western ally in the middle east and then uh, china and russia and north korea that new alliance is going to absorb that area and they're already starting to they already have iran as an ally and other entities as well so it's part of a bigger conflict so though people in western countries uh, it's not very bright for people in the west to um uh, want israel to be destroyed and to go along with this they don't understand what they're doing when they're participating and this is going to come back and get them later including these these brainwashed cult members they don't understand what they're doing they're, they're trying they're actually behaving in a very really anti-western manner now as we look at the history of communism when when uh, russia and china start to spread a bit more it's not as if they're going to come over here eventually uh, at some point in the future and shake hands with these people <laughs> they're going to be just eliminated because that's how communism works you you killed alaska Guy. you know that's the typical so i mentioned the anti-capitalism thing there's anti-capitalism um as much as possible so the fact that they're blocking up the entrance to the book of kells with the benches is part of that so there's a there's a tweet again from that guy laszlo molnarfi the hungarian communist and um, so you can see like the the benches here right in place in the middle so that's a symbolic of the whole thing i was talking about of anti-capitalism because they're trying to stop the college from making money um off uh, the book of kells and it's also anti-culture as well so you know the, the stuff that they do actually tells you what they're all about this is about mark this is marxist because it's anti-capitalism and anti-culture so it's also um an attempt to dominate the the landscape so i was talking about this on x earlier that not only is it them just trying to get attention and push their own agenda but obviously they, they want to dominate the ideological landscape by protesting it's a form of advertisement right so you look at them hanging out the windows and i'll skip back to that but when you have the students hanging out the windows and so on they're trying to attract more members that's why they go big and go public and they kind of um they capitalize on that thing that young people have where they want to fit in, right? So they, they want to fit in and be part of something big. So that's what it's a form of advertisement. It's reflective of how Marxism works worldwide because they're trying to dominate and it links in with the Marxist groups around the, the, um, the world as well. So we really need to clear the universities out of this uh, poison, you know. Um, they're, they're, they've got far too much power and far too much momentum. And on the thing about Univer uh, Trinity College Dublin as well, some little tidbits about the courses. So I don't know what the state is now. This data is a little bit, probably a little bit out of date now, but they offer a few different courses that are contaminated with Marxism. They offer a postgraduate certificate in diversity and inclusion and further education and training. Right, so that's one course. A postgraduate two-year full-time course called Gender and Women's Studies. So you can imagine the kind of crap they're being taught there. Another one is an undergraduate course in Gender and Sexuality in Early Modern Europe. <laughs> um, they've also offered an undergraduate course in Stalinism and Society in Eastern Europe. Um, I mentioned they a branch of the Workers' Party. They've also got an equality office in addition to various um, Marxist causes as well. 
So there's two uh, quick concepts I'll mention. And one of them is the idea of, or this is from uh, Leon Trotsky, one of Vladimir Lenin's um, comrades in the Russian Revolution, um, 1917 onwards. The concept of permanent revolution was the idea of having communism. Um, around the world to make the revolution international. There's another concept called constant revolution. This was this was talked about by Mao Zedong or Mao Zedong, who was the leader of China for many decades, and he talked about the idea of having um you know constant revolutionary um causes and so. So did Saul Alinsky as well, the famous Jewish Marxist agitator. So they need to constantly keep this activism going. It's like their oxygen. Right, think of a swimming shark or whatever, you know, they, they it needs to keep going to, to kind of breathe. And um that that's why they need to, to keep all the stuff going. So really, you know, we have to we have to when nationalism starts to get more powerful, the patriotic movement around the world starts to get more powerful, the clearing out the universities of this trash is a big priority. Clearing out these uh these brainwashed nutcases and all these student groups because these these crazies are going to go out into the world they're not, never going to stop they're going to go out into the world to continue to be brainwashed and cause problems for the rest of us so getting control of the universities and clearing it out of this trash should be a top priority so just in conclusion then i just want to mention that protest again tomorrow happening in dublin so the 6th of may so monday 6th of may at 2 30 in the garden of remembrance parnell square dublin so and uh, the way out of this whole situation we're in is to have a strong nationalist movement in the country so these protests are really important so hopefully tomorrow goes well thanks for watching folks and i will see you in the next one